fuel efficiency. It's something that you, me, and the other 191 million drivers on today's roads are having to deal with, especially at today's fuel prices. If you're one of the smart people out there who has a car that gets decent fuel mileage, maybe you get 30 miles to the gallon, then you're not doing that bad. For your car to go one mile, you're looking at using about 4.2 ounces of fuel, and that's pretty high. But what about the opposite of that? What are the most fuel inefficient machines? Now to answer that question, we're gonna have to look at either the largest machines or the fastest machines that man has ever devised. If we go back to our roads and look at something like a semi-truck, those are getting around four miles to the gallon. And if we look at something larger, which uses some of the largest turbo diesel engines in the world, like a container ship, that ship only gets 31 feet to the gallon. So, I have some good and bad news. The good news is that the average airliner that you and I fly on is 88 times more fuel efficient than that cargo container ship. The bad news is that if you actually do the arithmetic, you find that the average airliner is still only getting like half a mile to the gallon. You and I are going to be paying like $50 to $100 in baggage fees for years to come. But what if we look at something above an airline or something outside of our planet's atmosphere like a space shuttle or a Saturn V rocket? In that instance, you look at the recently retired space shuttle. Now, it carried 535,000 gallons of fuel. Now, this was both liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. And that fuel tank would carry the space shuttle to a terminal velocity of nearly 17,000 miles an hour at a downrange distance of nearly 900 miles. You do the math on that, you find the space shuttle was getting around, oh, 7.9 feet to the gallon. That's not bad. In fact, if you run some stupid calculations, you find that the space shuttle could drain two hot tubs simultaneously in one second, or an Olympic-sized swimming pool in ten and a half minutes. But what if we look at the world's most fuel inefficient machine? For that, we have to go to the mighty Apollo space program and the Saturn V rocket. Think of the Saturn V as basically a 35 story tall skyscraper that can move vertically. Now the Saturn V actually had almost as much fuel in its first stage as the space shuttle. The difference is that the stage one of the Saturn V only went as high as 42 miles. But for stage one of the Saturn V to get to 42 miles or 2.6 million inches, it used 521 thousand gallons of fuel to do that. So if we actually do the simple arithmetic and if we stay true to the era and use the 1960 slide rule, we do a simple calculation. You take 2.6, you put it under 5.2, and it looks like that. The Saturn V actually gets 4.9 inches to the gallon, making it the world's most fuel inefficient machine that we ever engineered. Hey, thanks for watching the air show. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.